My parents said, we want you to learn how to paint. We know you can paint. We know you can. And so I took classes under Bob Baker and Janine Campbell. So I learned to paint, and I never sold one of my pictures, but I gave them uh, to my family, mainly my parents. And I asked my parents what kind of, what did they want what, for a birthday or Christmas? And, and my father, it was mainly him. He would say, oh, I want an old barn. So I just thought it would be fun uh, to paint in a broken down car along with it. So uh, this picture was special to him because he liked the Coca-Cola on the sides. So that was a fun one to paint. And as you notice that I uh, used a brush that had very uh, few hairs in it. And so it took quite a while to do the old weeds, but we got them in. My father wanted red in every picture, uh, so if you will notice, there is always a touch of red in every picture because that was his favorite color. I painted this for my mother and father, and my father wanted an old red pickup, and my mother wanted blue bonnet. So this is a hill country picture and uh, one that they had on their wall. It's very detail work if you look at it uh, closely. And it would take me, sometime it would take me two or four months to do one picture. Kelly is my maiden name. That was for my mother. And then there's that red pickup again that my father always likes in the picture. When I would uh, put one in that kind of beat up and broke down, he liked that and he'd just laugh. It reminds me very much of the old store we used to go to and we get soda pop. They had it on the porch. It was the old coolers. Those were fun times back when I was growing up. And that's, that old store reminds me of theirs. So these are all old pictures. These were not for sale. While I'm here on this earth, I wanted to see my family enjoy the pictures. And I never painted again after uh, I lost my parents. And I moved on to photographs and pictures. I have never charged. I am a community volunteer. The Chamber of Commerce is the big one, and I help the bridge do their events, a woman of distinction and their style show, and, and different events they have, Sarah's House, when they have their fundraisers. I help them, and uh, I help the Salvation Army uh, with their big events. The Ask event that we had recently, Michael Berry came out to speak. He's very personable and uh, just a lot of fun to hear. The big event, I think, is the uh, the Andy Pettit Golf Tournament, and that's each year I'm on that foundation, on the San Jacinto College Foundation. And uh, Andy Pettit, uh, he went to college at San Jacinto, so he has never forgotten uh, his base. And he comes out every year for the golf tournament. I just really like Andy Pettit because I think he's such a gentleman, and he does so much. One of the real neat things lately was I went to the Lincoln Dinner and helped with their big event that they have once a year, and Ted Cruz came, and there is a really a controversial speaker, and the crowd just loved him. Bill and I were in school in Oklahoma City. We needed money to pay our tuition. He was going out and moonlighting and taking wedding pictures. He would take me along to kind of fluff the skirts. Well, he saw I was having more fun than the guests were having, and he said, you know, I'm going to teach you how to take pictures. You, you seem to really be enjoying this. And so he did, and uh, I started helping him, and that was the beginning, and I started volunteering and helping uh, any organization in town that needs me. He comes to Pasadena each year for the McDonald Texas Invitational. He loves to pose with the kids and he always knows my name and because each year when he comes, I've been there for many years, ever since the very first one. I go to the shelter and take pictures for the paper, the Pasadena Pet of the Week. The shelter says that it does a lot of good. The pet may already be adopted out when they get there, but 
what they do if they can once get them inside the shelter doors they have a lot of beautiful pets to show them so often if they come out they're going to leave with an animal i had helped the parks and rec with any of their activities they had uh, had been putting them in contests and i didn't know that and they had all of these ribbons for me and they decided it would be fun and a surprise and they showed up at council one night with this beautifully framed uh, picture with all of the ribbons in it and it's so meaningful to me it's my very favorite of anything I have and and I honor that more than anything I have in my office. I started volunteering and helping uh, uh, different organizations and it just uh, kind of snowballed. Everyone needs help. Uh, you know, and if, uh, I think uh, volunteers are very important in the community, and this is something that, uh, a way that I could help.